this is another level of realism. All right, so I have now a really good news. Tong Yi, which is from Alibaba, released this Z image. And let me tell you, this looks really, really good. And it's only 6 billion parameters. Meanwhile, on the Black Forest from Fluxland, you need an H100 GPU with CPU offloading to do the inference. <laughs> but here, it's only 6 billion parameters. I mean, look at this. This is pretty realistic for me. It reminds me the days of the Stable Diffusion SDXL, which was pretty good for the size. But this, I mean, this is another level. I mean, look at this. Only 6 billion parameters. I'm trying to find some flaw here, but I'm not seeing any. It has a very nice skin texture. You can do a lot of detailed clothing. They released only this Z image turbo for now. They're gonna release this Z image base and then this Z image edit, which should compete with the Quen image edit and the flux context and the flux 2 itself. So let's see some examples. This is the turbo and you can see some results, pretty nice. And this is what it can do with text. And this is the edit model. So as you can see, it's pretty good. You can rotate the character, change color of the hair, change the clothes, input some different clothes and it will transfer to the person. Change text, pretty good. And here, on this Reddit post, you can see a few more examples from the people here. This is another level of realism. I can't spot any flaw, I mean, apart from, what is this, tweezers? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the hands look pretty good, the texture, very nice. Now, I mean, look at this. Apparently, it can do anime as well, and some copyrighted characters. Although, not always. So, of course, it has its flaws, but it can do it. I mean, look at this. I was recording this video and they dropped the model <laughs> right now, actually. 24 gigabytes, so probably it should be BF32, FP32, something like that. Usually, when you use the model to do inference, if you use the full model, you use a FP16 or a BF16, which should be half of this, about 12. And the FP8 version should be around the number of the parameters. So if it's 6 billion parameters, this should have around 6 gigabytes. Not bad. Well, that's it. I don't have a ConfiUI workflow yet. No one has. I don't know how this is gonna work. But as soon as this becomes possible, I'm gonna do another video about it. Meanwhile, you can use this demo on Hanging Face. Let's try it. A cyborg penguin, what the fuck? Let's try. Oh, it's pretty fast. Ah, <laughs> yes. Wow, this is fast. It's pretty good, not a cyborg. So let's do a cartoon style. All right, there it is. Not as good as the big, big models, but for realism, it's actually very good. All right, so there it is, a cartoon styled cyborg penguin. Actually, it worked, not bad. So once again, the Chinese companies getting ahead for the AI enthusiasts that just want to run this on their local machine. So let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe.